Hey guys, we are next to the tail of A320 and inside of this compartment is uh, APU. And today I will show you how to replace it, so stay tuned. Three people were selected for this task and luckily I was one of them. So I can show you how it works. And since we all know each other very well, I don't expect any complications. For simplicity, we split the work and each of us is responsible for different sections of the APU. I'm taking care of the right side, second Thomas is on the left and the third start from the back. And yes, we all have the same name. As you can see, Thomas in the back start with the disconnection of the muffler from the exhaust of the APU. I'm taking care of the generator and Thomas on the left is disconnecting fuel line. And if you want to know how to replace generator, click on pop-up banner above or lately check the link in the description below. Fuel line is removed, so Thomas jump on the starter and he is now removing the power cables and I'm almost done with the cables from the generator. And again, if you want to know how to replace starter, click on pop on banner above and I'll also add link in the description below. Next step is electrical harnesses and the APU has only three and we can all of them find on the front firewall. I'm removing clamps which hold harnesses all around the APU compartment and the other Thomas is taking care of all connectors. It is impossible to see, but meanwhile we are fighting with the harnesses, Thomas in the back is removing oil cooler duct. It took quite a long time to remove harnesses, but since it's done, I moved to the bleed duct. Now you can see Thomas from the back, he's inspecting everything what we so far removed because we need to be sure that we don't forget anything. Let's recap what we did so far, we removed exhaust with drain, this is bleed duct for the APU, generator cables being removed and the connectors as well. Then we moved on the other side, this is starter, disconnected, this fuel line which was connected to the fuel control unit. Here you can see all three harnesses, which, as I mentioned before, have a connections on this APU front firewall. On my left, you can see oil cooler from which duct was removed lately by Thomas. APU holds on three attachments. One is up here, the other one is on the right side, and the last one is on the left side. Last thing which should be mentioned, which we removed are bonding leads. You can find them on the right and on the left attach points. I will put the crane on. Hook it on the APU and we'll go down. So let's go for it. First thing is installation of the arm of the crane inside of the APU compartment through which will lead the cable, on which APU will be lowered to the ground. It holds on two attach points, one is on the top and the other one is on the sidewall. When arm is on the place, we can push through the cable and install crane itself on the arm. Whenever cable is true, I can attach it to the APU. Dobre, 
Whenever APU is hooked up, we can install Crane itself on the arm. Whenever we are sure that APU holds on the crane, we can start removing nuts from attach points. Nuts from the mount on the top is loose, so we can continue with the side ones. All three nuts from attaching points are loose, so APU holds only on the crane. So we slowly start to lowering it down. Whenever we are sure that there are no obstacles and APU is free, we can remove the platform so APU can be lower all the way to the ground. Hold APU is down and we are securing it on the maintenance stand. After that, cable can be removed. We placed new and old APU next to each other and since only APU itself need to go for overhaul, we can transfer some parts like starter or generator on the new one because these components are completely serviceable and we can use them again. Preparation is done, we can start with the installation of the new APU inside of the compartment. Last quick look on the APU before installation. As you can see, all parts are installed, secured, and we are ready for liftoff. APU is almost all the way in, so we'll place platform back underneath and we'll proceed with installation. As a first, we need to install all three nuts on the attaching points and of course, torque them. And now we can disconnect the crane. Good. Good. Crane is out, so arm is remaining. And one last inspection before installation of all removed connections. We carry off the installation in a reverse way, so I'm taking care of the bleed duct, Thomas is installing starter, the other Thomas is taking care of the exhaust, then we continue with the generator. From the starter Thomas moved to the harnesses. I'm installing back the clamps. As you can see, Thomas on the left is installing a fuel line, but what you can't see is that the other Thomas is installing duct from the oil cooler.
We are almost done and the next step is servicing of the APU. We perform all inspections, so now we can proceed with the test. One of my colleagues switched on the system in the cockpit, so as you can see APU doors are opening. And whenever they are open, APU can start. All test was ok, so we can switch off the APU and we can proceed with the leak check. And leak check is also ok, I didn't found any leaks. What's left? We need to prepare APU for transport to overhaul shop and of course paperwork. Well, that's all what I want to show you guys today. If you have any questions, write them down in the comments and I'll try to answer you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.